speaker, as a recommender of QuickBooks, um, I often answer questions about the different features, about the different versions of QuickBooks out there. So I'm using ChatGPT to see if I can come up with some answers that I can give to my customers when they ask me questions like, hey, what's the difference between QuickBooks uh, version X with version Y? So let's try it. I'm, I'm, I'm in normal, regular ChatGPT, and I'm going to ask, um, what are the differences between QuickBooks Online Plus versus advanced so i'm just gonna ask that question see what kind of information it gives me okay so it started um typing for me okay so there it is it's typing it's giving me answers which is great i mean this uh i could put this in a in a blog article obviously after i check that the answers are correct or, or not correct so i'm just gonna let it finish and i'm gonna ask him something more pertinent like um you know new features that came out in the last six months or something like that so we're gonna run into a little bit of an issue where chat GPT um, is not up to date. Um, so let me show you. Uh, what are the latest features in QBO Advance? Um, uh, added in the last six months. Let's do something like that. Let's see what it says. So, so now it's telling me that there's a cutoff date, right? So the late, so I it can't go any uh, newer than 2021, which is so it's basically explaining to me, hey, look, I, I can't get you that answer. However, I found something interesting. In the Google Chrome web store, if you use Google Chrome or Microsoft Edge, you can download this thing called Web Chat GPT, okay? So I'm gonna click on um, Add to Chrome. It's called Web Chat GPT. And essentially what it does is it has this little sort of extra information here letting you know that it's going to search the web for stuff. Yeah, what the heck does that mean? So let's come back here, and I'm going to ask this, the, the same question uh, in here. So I'm going to put, uh, what are the latest? I'm going to put, and greatest. <laughs> Just to have some, some fun here. Uh, do QuickBooks, uh, let's I'm gonna type QuickBooks Online Advanced, and I'm going to put last, I'm going to put 12 months. I'm just going to, uh, change it a little bit that way it doesn't flag me that I'm asking the same question over and over because ChatGPT doesn't like when I keep asking the same question over and over. So I'm gonna press enter and with um with the web version of ChatGPT, um I still get um some errors about the timing, but but up here I get a new set of information called web search results. So what ChatGPT will do is yeah, it will give you your answer, whatever, whatever your answer is, but it also go in there and check a couple of websites and try to find information for you. So it says, hey, look, here's, here's an answer and here's the source. So I can copy and paste this and see what that was. So, okay, so it, it went into this website particularly and summarized information for me. So it's pretty, pretty cool. So like I'm not longer just stuck with information that's... Um, that, that, that is there, but yeah, that, 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 that chat GPT is limited to, uh, it does search your web for stuff, okay? So that's really my quick uh, uh, tip for you on this one is, it's add this web chat GPT and just completely change the way chat GPT uh, leverages the web to give you answers as well. So if I, if I didn't have chat GPT, if I didn't have this, um, this, uh, this uh, add-on, then I would just get this answer saying, "Sorry, you know, I, I, you know, I can't really give you information that's past 2021." And you, you may watch this video in the future, and that may not be a limitation anymore, or there might be a point in time in the near future where ChatGPT gets us closer and closer to today's state. So anyway, check out that um, web extension; it's pretty cool. Web Chat GPT, just it's free. I don't know if they're ever going to charge for that. Really, don't know. And the minute you see this little search on the web checkbox there uh, that that's how you know you have this web chat gpt installed hope you liked it